stretch and this stretch of I-85, it doesn't take a good DOT engineer, and I'm not one, so I don't claim to be, but I know that it's too narrow. I can tell you about the accidents I've almost had, and I know personally that it's busy. I-85 will be transformed from an old 20th century highway that was envisioned to move no more than 20 or 30,000 cars every week or so to a 21st century highway that will be able to move hundreds of thousands of cars and trucks during the next 50 to 80 years. This is a good day for North Carolina.